Worship is a vital part of our relationship with Jesus. We cannot live in relationship without worshiping Jesus. Worship is a foundational part of scripture as the Psalms contain poems and songs of worship. We worship so that we can bring remembrance to who we are and what we believe in. David wrote many Psalms to remind the Israelites of who God was. In times of grief and lament, there were Psalms that pulled them through these hard times. Finish what you start. You always finish what you start. Yeah. Why you have grown into a garden. You planted in the dark. You always finish what you start. Good things just take a little time Good things just take a little time yeah. Your hands are working in the soil And bringing me to life Good things just take a little time So I will trust you in the famine I will bless you in the feast When I'm standing in your victory When I'm on my knees I will praise you with the rising and the setting. David wrote many psalms to remind the Israelites of who God was. In times of grief and lament, there were psalms that pulled them through these hard times. Stanley Grenz says, at the heart of the life of most church traditions is a group of sacred acts. In our attempt to assist the church in reflecting on its faith, we must bring these acts under our purview so as to construct a theological understanding of their place in community life. The church community holds certain sacraments as worship to God in order to be reminded of God's place in their lives. We do communion as a way to be reminded that Jesus died for us on the cross so that we can be free from our sinful nature. We get water baptized to remind us that Jesus taught us how he has washed away our sin and that we need to share that good news with others. Worship is about God, not about us, but we directly benefit from giving praise to God. This act of praise also brings God's community together. Grenz continues saying, Worship strengthens our sense of identity as members of Christ's fellowship. The sacred practices function as vehicles of the Spirit in this identity-forming process. Worshiping God brings affirmation to our identity in God and God's community. So how do you worship? What gifts has God given you that you can use to express in worship? We should be using these gifts every day to bring glory to God and affirm our place You've in his family. Been God for a long time. You're the final word, you're the finish line. And everything's gonna be all right. Cause you've been God for a long time. God.